This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4.4. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate Final Cut's new ability to support SRT captions. Here I have a, a webinar from a few months ago that I did captions for. When captions were first released with Final Cut 10.4.3, they supported the SCC format and the ITT format. One of the most popular formats is SRT, and as you would expect, caption formats are totally incompatible one with the other, and Final Cut didn't support SRT. Now it does. The operation of the captions is the same. Everything we can do, we can still do. It's just now we can work with SCC or SRT or ITT captions. Let me illustrate. For instance, here, there's our two outputted movies. We'll just get rid of those. Command, delete, and open up the image folder. Here's an SRT caption file. If I open this inside text edit, one of the nice things about the SRT format is that you can actually read it. It says from time code one quarter of a second to 14 and a half seconds, this is the text. It's in English. So I can go through here with a spelling checker as long as I keep it in text format. You don't want to transfer it to Word. That's unreadable. And you don't want to transfer it to pages. It has to be pure text format. I can go through here and correct typos and clean stuff up. Now, these captions are way too long. You generally want to have captions be phrases. But I wanted to show you that you can open up an SRT caption inside text edit and manipulate it so that you can make changes here when it's really easy rather than make changes inside Final Cut where it's still easy but not as easy and running a spell checker through this is trivial in a text document. So what do we do to bring them in? Well, that also is the same as before, just support for the new format. We'll go File, Import, Captions, and there is my SRT file and we'll import it. And there's my captions, and they're all to time. I want to just work with the first caption to show you what that looks like. Here we've got captions which are either too long or too tight. The red means there's a, an error on it. I'm going to just get rid of it for right now. We'll deal with it later. And as I double-click this caption, look at this. Welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to create simple effects in Apple Final Cut Pro. This is, I mean, it's a wonderful opening can't believe the quality of the narration, but there's too much text on the screen. <laughs> so I got to fix that. First thing that I'm going to do is go and play the clip. Welcome to this Power Up webinar. Okay, so that's the first part. I'm going to take the blade and cut the caption. And cut the caption. And cut the caption. And so now I've taken that caption, divided it up into multiple parts, and I'll just get rid of web Power Up Webinar. Okay, good. Go to this one. Taking a look at how to create simple effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Get rid of that. Double click this one. Keep my name. Get rid of the second. I'm just doing deleting here with the big delete key. Don't use the small delete key, which is Next to the end button, what that does is it deletes the caption itself. This would be considered frustrating. Now as I play this, Welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to create simple effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create generator effects in Final Cut. Perfect. That's what I want my captions to look like. We can now export the caption. I'm going to just export a range, select the range tool, and drag out a range. I don't want to export the entire project because I've done that already. Let's go to Share, Master File. Again, the settings. This is a ProRes 4x4 project because it's a screen capture. I do all of my training at 720. But notice under Roles, I can now export each SRT language as a separate file. So I could have captions in English and French and German and Spanish and have four separate exported files. They have to be integrated by your player, but you can export them as separate files. 
We could include text formatting. If you were using colors, it would include that. But here's also another new feature. I want to do captions. When I click it, I can now burn in the captions, which means rather than having a toggle where you can switch the captions on or off, you can now burn the captions into the video permanently. So that when you open it up, we'll just watch the output here. Thank you. So now when you open up the file, there's our SRT file. Welcome to this. We should see if it works the way it did in rehearsal. There we go. Welcome to this Power Up Power webinar. webinar. Taking a look at how to create simple effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Now these captions cannot be turned off. They're burned into the video. But there's many times where you want that to happen, and now it's as easy as clicking a button. And if I double-click the SRT file, notice that now it's changed the captions based on the changes that we made, and it only exported the first few seconds of the program. Captions continue to improve inside Final Cut, but the actual operation of captions is the same as it's always been, with the addition of being able to burn in captions and support for the very popular SRT format. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10, version 10.4.4. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 267. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.